thank you all for being here. I'm Mary Anthony Hangos, the Assistant Principal of Americana School. Um, I wanted to personally welcome all of you students and families and community members um, to this special day in our fifth graders' lives. This is their graduation and we're really excited for you. So I'm going to turn it over to our um, essay, pledge essay winners. So with Alexis Timer, Natalie Morinchel, Carla Luna, Elizabeth Small, and Joanna Orda could please come up. If I get everybody to stand in the pledge, the flag is right over here. finally here and it's been a long wait and you guys have worked hard extremely hard over these last 10 weeks to finally get here so I'm very proud of you and uh, before we get started with what dares about and uh, kind of the requirements of dare I just want to welcome some very special guests here that need special introduction so if we look over to my left here everybody see to my left your right uh, we've got Becky Tybor the mayor secretary let's give a round of applause We've got our mayor, Linda Jackson. <laughs> From the Venice Lenox Hospital, Emily, Emily Golden. <laughs> Village trustee, Chester Kojak. <laughs> Deputy Chief of Police, Steve Ewald. <laughs> Investigation Sergeant, Douglas Flynn. Chief of Police, Michael Mara. Chief of Police, Sukhan, Vicky Gabbard. Chief of Police, Business Manager, Michael Dunn. Assistant Superintendent of District 16, Michael Dunn. So we'll get started here. I just want to give you just a little bit about DARE, uh, what we've kind of covered over the last 10 weeks. It's been a very busy last 10 weeks. And during that time, we've covered a lot of different topics. Uh, we've talked about the gateway drugs. We've talked about alcohol, tobacco, a little bit about marijuana. Uh, we talked about resistance strategies, effective communication, and hot topics like bullying, how to report bullying, cyberbullying, and things of that nature. You know, DARE is not just about talking about gateway drugs and other drugs. It's also about making effective decisions and, and being a good person and surrounding yourself with positive people. I know the one thing that I harped on probably the whole, you know, the 10 weeks, and I'm sure you guys got tired of me saying, was, was to be a leader and not a follower. Make your own choices. That's very important. Don't be the person that just does everything because somebody tells you to do it. Okay? And I think it's so important to be in structured activities such as basketball, football, cheerleading, scouts, band, things like that. That's going to keep you out of trouble. It's going to steer you in a positive direction. So those are very important things that we talked about. We a couple of requirements that we, uh, that we also had here with DARE was first, number one, is to do a workbook. Everybody's done that. We've completed the workbook thoroughly. Uh, one is to do an essay, which everybody's done, and we're going to hear the essay winners here in just a minute, and a poster. And I'll announce the poster winners here at the very end. I know it's highly anticipated and have ever three winners from each class. So, without further ado, I also want to welcome parents. Thank you, parents, for coming today as well. We've got a great turnout today. All right, um, I'm going to call up the first essay winner in Mrs. Delmonico's class, and that is Asia. Come on up, Asia.
Did you know that there are 570,000 drug-related deaths each year in the U.S.? There are 85,000 alcohol-related deaths, 20,000 to illegal drugs, 20,000 due to prescription drug abuse, and 440,000 from disease related to tobacco. DARE stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. In DARE, I have learned that the most pressure to use drugs, tobacco, and alcohol will be for my friends. This is called peer pressure. I don't want anybody to try and pressure me into doing drugs. The DARE decision-making model will help me make smart and healthy decisions to avoid situations that involve drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. DARE has helped me realize that the use of drugs won't only impact my life, but it will impact my friends and family too. If I surround myself with good people, I will lower the risk of depression of the use of drugs. In the future, I will never use drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. I know the effects of what can happen if I use any of these things. I choose not to do drugs, so if anybody asks if I want to join them, I will say no to the subject. Thank you. I will not hang out with someone if they do drugs so I can keep myself out of trouble. I promise to my friends, family, and teachers that I will never use drugs or alcohol so I won't hurt myself or anyone else. I also promise that I will never do drugs if I get stressed or to make myself look cool because doing drugs is not cool. An essay winner from Mrs. Egan's class, if I could have Phoebe come on up. Do you believe 400,000 people died because of tobacco each year? Imagine the death. This is an example of the fact I learned in day. I also learned how to use the DARE decision making model. I plan to use what I learned in DARE in my future. Anyone under the age of 21, it is illegal for them to drink alcohol. Teens shouldn't drink because teen bodies are still drugs. Therefore, alcohol affects teens more than adults because they are already grown. Alcohol slows down the brain and body, so do not drink alcohol. It is very bad for you. In the U.S., you can't sell tobacco products to anyone until the age 80 or 90. Sm uh, smokers have more colds and respiratory problems than regular people. Smoke also contains 200 harmful chemicals. It will also cause heart disease, lung cancer, etc. Negative reduces amount of blood that flows to the brain. It may also affect your body, so be careful and don't try to use it. Bullying people is a rude and hurtful thing to do. So if someone else is being bull uh, bullying other people, stand by yourself, be brave and proud of yourself, so then save the person being bullied by reporting it to a trusted adult. Don't be, don't be shy and don't be scared. Please save the person. A dare decision making model is to de uh, describe you the problem and also to make a good choice. It is the full form of the de uh, de uh, Define, assess, respond, and evaluate. Define means to describe the problem, challenge, or opportunity. Assess is about what are your choices, respond, and is make a choice from others. Evaluate means to say that if it is good choice or bad choice. For example, define the problem was my. But my cousin and my mom both wanted help others. The options were to help my mom or cousin. Respond. I chose to help my mom with a bunch of papers. That way, I made a good choice. In my future, I plan to use what I learned to make good choices. I want my body to stay healthy, so I don't want to use bad habits like using drugs, smoking, chewing tobacco, and bullying. Also, I will report the bullying when I see someone is being bullied by anyone. I will also say to people that say no, say it once, say it twice, say no to drugs even if someone pressures you. Don't let anyone use anything that is bad for them or you. Always try to be a good person without bad habits. In there, I learned about the harmful things that drugs and alcohol can do. I learned how to make a good decision. So I can promise that I won't use any bad habits because I knew that it will destroy my body or health. So now I know that using bad habits can give your body illness that maybe gets you to death.
from Mrs. Jones's class, Tracy. Come on up, please, Tracy. My class recently finished in. There's a special class that teaches students about resisting drugs, bullying, and peer pressure. We even tried on a DUI, driving under influence of <laughs> We learned about drugs, a substance other than food that affects the way our minds and bodies work, and its horrible effects. We learned an interesting fact that there are 75,000 alcohol-related drugs each year in the U.S. and the United States. Another interesting fact we learned is that nicotine, a substance found in cigarettes and chewing tobacco, reduces the amount of blood that goes to your brain. Another fact that we learned is that you have to be 21 years old to drink alcohol, and smokers have more cold and upper respiratory problems. I learned that smoking can damage cilia, or cilia, a type of hair that filters out dust and other foreign particles. It also answers problems to build later problems by using the dead decision making model, showing for a common demand. We didn't just learn only about drugs, we even learned about bullying and peer pressure. We learned that there are methods of stopping bullying. We were reported to a teacher or a trusted adult or write an anonymous note to the dear box. Your pressure is when people your age try to get you to do something. You watch videos of bullying and when it comes to people being bullied and you see DJ and learn to evaluate and answer. I also learned many more facts about these subjects and talk about the related topics. I think that there is terrific programs and I hope it will encourage students to do the right thing. All right, let's give up. Thank you all. All right, let's get an essay winner from Mrs. Paterka's class. Let's have Anna come on up, please. What do cigarettes and alcohol both have in common? They are both harmful to the human body. Throughout the D.A.R.E. program, I have learned to make smart decisions about bullying and drugs such as, such as alcohol and tobacco. Saying no to these things is crucial, and so is knowing how to say no. The D.A.R.E. decision-making model has helped me comprehend how to say no. Thanks to this model, I can make good decisions to have a long, healthy life. I now know how to respond to things such as pressure in real life situations. The steps in the dairy decision making model are helpful. The first step is to define your problem. The second step is to assess, which means to ask yourself, well, what are your choices? The third step is to respond. This is where you should make your choice. Evaluating is the final step. Review your decision and decide if it was a good or bad choice. I have learned many facts about drugs, which is a reason I avoid them. For example, secondhand smoke is responsible for nearly 50,000 deaths per year. Alcohol slows down the brain and body. These alcohol even causes slow reflexes. These are just a few effects of alcohol and smoking. The decision-making model uh, doesn't only learn for saying no to drugs, it also helps up with standing up to bullying. A bystander is someone who witnesses bullying. Bystanders can help by telling a trusted adult if you're a bystander, speak up when you do this. When you do this, use the five W's of reporting bullying. Who was bu being bullied? What happened that makes you think someone is bullied? When did this happen? Where did this happen? And why do you think someone is bullying another person? Report bullying and use this. The D.A.R.E. program has helped me because I will use the decision-making model in future situations. I will also report bullying using the five W's of the D.A.R.E. I will never use drugs because there is no point in ruining my life, my health, or somebody else's health. such as alcohol, tobacco, and marijuana, and cocaine, and as, as well as why it's important to resist peer pressure and make positive choices. Also, I'll explain how you can do your part to stand up to bullying. 
First, I'd like to discuss alcohol, drugs, and tobacco. All three of these can cause serious health, legal, and family problems. Alcohol can mess up your vision and your coordination, so when you try to walk or do something, it will be way harder to do. Trust me, I've worn special goggles that make it seem that way. It is also extremely dangerous to drive under the influence. Every 52 minutes, someone is killed in a drunk driving accident. Drugs are also very dangerous. Drugs like cocaine and marijuana have negative effects. They are not like normal prescriptions. Doctors give us what you should do to take someone else's prescription. They are with drugs that can make you sick or even kill you. Drugs can keep you from having a happy and successful life, so you should never take any of those drugs. Other drugs like tobacco can make your lungs black and nasty. You can get lung cancer from smoking a lot. In the United States, 159,000 people die from lung cancer each year. Next, I would like to talk about negative peer pressure and how to resist it. Peer pressure means when people usually in your age range try to influence you, you do things around a certain way. Your peers can be positive and supportive, or they can have a negative influence. Here is an example of negative peer pressure. Now, it's been super quick, but the clerks now looking for Kurt Downing. He leaned against the store's unattended makeup display and slid two teeth of lipstick into her purse. She looked bored and sad as she followed her friend sweeping the out of the store, but inside she felt panicked. So as you can see, a group of people are putting peer pressure on the girl in the paragraph to steal something. Here are five good ways of resisting negative peer pressure. One, walk away. Two, ignore them. Three, it's not that they're joking. Four, say no. Five, as a last resort, avoid the person. If someone is putting peer pressure on you and it goes against your waist, then walk away. Finally, I'd like to talk about bullying. Bullying means when someone makes fun of or intimidates someone else. Kids who are bullied feel alone and alike, helpless, or feel rejected. You should always stand up for people who are being bullied. If you do not take action, you are being a bystander. Here are five ways to help someone who is being bullied. One, don't be scared of the bully. Two, invite them to spend time with you and your friends. Three, talk to the person. Four, tell someone privately for help. Five, call a teacher. If you're being bullied, first you should tell an adult. Some other important tips uh, to remember after you tell an adult or try not to get mad, don't fight, and go on and be confident and stick with friends. Don't become a bully. Don't spread rumors, gossip, or tease someone. Don't make fun of someone. Don't make fun of someone who's different. To conclude, drugs, alcohol, and tobacco are all bad things. Also, you should never take bad drugs, and you should never take someone else's prescription. It can lead to serious problems. Bullying is also a very bad thing. Bullying wouldn't happen if people would stop treating kids mean. There's a lot of bad peer pressure, but there's also a lot of good peer pressure. Try to influence your friends to do good things and take those bad ones. I promise to never take bad drugs like cocaine, heroin, and marijuana. All right, great job, Amy. I think you guys have done a great job of summing up their program. We talked about all the topics that I just discussed with the gateway drugs, bullying, making good decisions, and effective communication. Before you guys go any further here, we're going to take a, a photo. And if I could have my runners up that did the pledge, if I could have Alexis, Natalie, Carla, Elizabeth, and Joanna, you guys could come up here too as well. We'll take a photo and then we'll get our prizes here.
Let's give it up to our essay winners and runners up. I think it is in my tenure of being an SRO and a DARE officer, I think this is the largest class I've ever taught in. I think there's nine sections this year at Americana, which is a, is a huge class. All right, we got a little special presentation for you guys, and I want to thank the teachers for putting this together. It's a kind of a tradition that we do at Americana here. And everybody knows the DARE song, the DARE YMCA song. So we're going to get, uh, the lyrics should be underneath your chairs. So if everybody just grab those if you don't know. I'm, from my understanding, it sounds like a lot, of, a lot of you guys have got this memorized. So if we could stand up, stand up. Not everybody, just the students. If you want to stand up, go ahead. All right, I think uh, Detective Gary is ready. Um, are you guys ready? Yeah? All right. Hopefully there'll be no malfunctions here. Is that loud enough? No. A little bit louder. And Mr. Shesbo will be the last class that goes because we go in alphabetical order here. So uh, once we get everybody set up here, we will go ahead and uh, we'll call them off. Remember to walk this way, okay? We're going to walk down this way and we're going to go through this way. I think, we, I think we've done this before. I know that Mrs. Delmonico and Mrs. Uh, Jones are new to this, but after today they'll be veterans. Okay, without further ado. Thank you. 
Gavin Carrillo. John Castillo. Alexis Coyle. Alex Curtis. Devonchi DeBraw. Luis Garcia. Demetrius Gibson. Asia Glass. Ariana Johnson. Kayla Bongiorno. Daniel Mejia. Jose Mercado.
Richard Cruz. Dylan Emery. Alyssa Fulton. Miguel Galvez. Josh Gervais. Nicholas Ian. Xavier Hicks. Vanessa Morris. Alexis Lopez. Carla Luna. Amari Martin. Steven Mendoza Sanchez. Gabriel Moyada Horta. Alexis Neary.
This would not be possible. So I want you to give them a huge round of applause. Thank you.
This is a great group of teachers here, and I've had the opportunity to teach in every single one of their classrooms. This year I didn't get to teach in uh, Mrs. Paterka's classroom, but I have in the last couple of years. She's an excellent teacher. This is my first two years that I taught, in, or my first year that I've taught in Mrs. Delmonico and Mrs. Jones's class. It was a pleasure to work with both of you. And Mr. Shesball, I've been in your classroom the last three years, and Mrs. Egan the last two. So this has been a fantastic uh, group to work with. And I know, I think this is the one of the few years that I worked uh, when I did there in the classroom here where I didn't have to cancel any classes, so, um, but they're extremely, you know, helpful when I need to re rearrange some classes or something comes up. So, again, I want to thank you guys for everything, for everything that you do, and uh, I appreciate it. So, here's a little token of uh, my appreciation to you guys, and uh, let's give them another round of applause. Okay, I know this is the favorite part of the graduation because we're getting towards the end here, but I know that the one thing that you guys have been wanting is the, are the poster winners. So, we're gonna announce the poster winners here in just a second, but I, before we do that though, I just wanted to show you some of the prizes that the poster winners will be getting. Uh, in first place here, we've got some uh, rocket footballs. Let's see those, all right. Uh, a deer water bottle, some stencils, and a uh, Deer Awareness Bracelet, pretty cool prizes for first place. Um, our second place, poster winners receive a CD case, DVD case, a foam stress police car, some cool shades, and a hacky sack. And third place receives Frisbee, wallet, yo-yos, and deer popper badminton thingies. All right, are we ready? You guys ready now? You guys look like you're ready. Okay. Just waiting for Detective Deary here. All right, what we'll do is we'll call up the three winners from each class. We'll come over here and take a picture, okay? Leave your posters here on the ground, and then collect your, then we'll collect the prizes, okay? So we ready? All right, in third place in Mrs. Delmonico's class, a two-time winner today, is Alexis Tamara. In second place, in Mrs. Delmonico's class is Aureli Valdez. And the winner is Evelyn Berrigan. Nice work, Mrs. Delmonico's class. All right, let's go with Mrs. Egan's class. You guys ready for that? Okay, third place, I think you're ready, right? Is Alondra Cruz. In second place, another two-time winner today is Phoebe. Come on up. And in first place is Damian Vasquez. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's give it up for Miss Egan's class, poster winner. Nice job. Okay, Mrs. Jones's class. Looks like Detective Derry's ready over there. In third place is Nick Ian. And second place is Isabella Bautista. And the winner is Joseph Elvin. Second place is Sarah Stardust. And the winner in Mrs. Paterka's class is Asha Ami. Let's give it up to Mrs. Paterka. All right, last but certainly not least, Mr. Shevsbold's class. Okay, looks like Detective Derry is ready here. In third place is Nathaniel. Very creative, I like to see. In second place is Emily Tron. And our winner is a two-time winner today, is Aiden Mudina. Now that you guys are all Derek graduates and you move on to middle school and, and bigger, better things, 
but take these skills that you learned and apply them, okay? Remember, be a leader, don't be a follower, okay? Lead by example, be positive role models in your community and in your schools. So I want to take time to congratulate you. Parents, take, take, take the time to come up um, with a graduation on your day of you guys come in here today. Two round of applause for the parents here. And then I will turn it over to Mrs. Mahangos for dismissal instructions. Hi guys, I don't have much to say other than congratulations and a special thanks to Mrs. Paterka's class. Thank you guys so much for letting me come in your classroom and be a part of your, your dear education. And you guys made me proud, you guys did a really good job. And to everybody again, congratulations. And to sweeten the deal here, we have uh, We've got some treats in the back for the students and parents, so help yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Mrs. Uh, Mahango. Okay, yeah, go ahead and enjoy, and then uh, when we get ready to dismiss, I'll hand it over to uh, Mrs. Mahango. So get on the All right, well, thanks very much for coming, and congratulations.